Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amped Software YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be taking you through the latest update of Amped Authenticate. And what an exciting update this is going to be. Amped Authenticate originated as an image authentication tool and we slowly started to introduce some basic video authentication tools within there. Everyone's been giving us feedback, asking for more video authentication capabilities. And so from this update going forwards, there will now be two modes to Amped Authenticate, the image mode and the video mode. When you install Amped Authenticate, you'll find that you'll both get the Amped image authentication mode executable, as well as the video mode executable. So if we take a look at my desktop, you'll see that I've got two executables now for Amped Authenticate. The first one being the traditional Amped Authenticate that we're used to seeing. This will now solely be for image authentication. And you'll also find the new Amped Authenticate video executable where you'll access the video mode to do all your authentication on videos there. So let me take you through the new Amped Authenticate video mode. To start with, I'm just going to show you how easy it is to load a video into Amped Authenticate. Here, I'm going to take this MP4 video and all we need to do is just drag and drop this into the evidence video panel here. After we've done that, it will automatically load that video and you can see in the center of Authenticate video mode, we've got the player viewer. Here you can do all the things you would expect of a video player, as well as some information is given about this file, such as what frame you're looking at, the frame type, uh, the frames per second and the resolution of that video. So if we take a look at the other panels that you'll see here, we've got the filters panel. In here, you may recognize some of the video filters that were introduced in the image mode previously that have now been uh, moved over to here as well as some new filters that are coming out with this update. We have the project panel, which everyone will be familiar with already if you've used Authenticate Image before. Then we've got the plot viewer and table viewer. These are both there to give us information regarding the filters that we're using. And finally, you've got the filters parameters. So each filter will have its own unique filter settings or filter parameters and you'll be able to customize them here in this panel. I've now applied one of the new filters that you'll get with the video mode, which is the VPF signal. Here you can see how we utilize the plot viewer and the table viewer whenever we use a filter. So you'll see in the plot viewer, we get a graph regarding the VPF signal. And in the table viewer, we get the information regarding the outcome of this. For those that don't know, VPF is there to help you identify whether there is double compression in a video to help you identify if that video is original or not. Here you can see that we've not detected double encoding and then the value of the VPF is much lower than the threshold that is set by default. And as I mentioned before, within those filter parameters, you can adjust the filter settings here. So if you wanted to use a different threshold for the VPF analysis, this is where you would make that change. We also wanted to keep the video mode and the image mode connected to each other. And so you'll see that when we're going through our video, if there's a particular frame of that video, I would like to send to the image authentication mode, then you'll see that we've got this button here to send the current frame to image mode. I hope you're excited about the introduction of the video mode and expect a lot more updates from ourselves regarding the filters and how to best use this part of Amped Authenticate. Until next time, take care.